now this video I'm going to show you the difference between nuclear fission and nuclear fusion now you need to take care I mean you need to really look at it what's that different okay in terms of spelling in terms of wording it's S here which I have actually highlighted it already in my previous video where you have double S meaning is separate segregate segregate or separate a big amount of atom is separated into a smaller atom okay so you have a big atom of, with big nuclei of course what happened when you bring near a nucleus or it absorb a nucleus you have a nucleus and a huge atom or radioactive element what happened it split this heavy nucleus into two or more nuclei of roughly the same mass okay so what happened this is for the case of 235 uranium what happened when an electron is being absorbed into it well, it will split it will split this big atom into half of equivalent mass so that's what it means by nuclear fusion so you have two smaller nuclei this is what it means by daughter nuclei this is a parent nuclei and then split to smaller nuclei one two of equivalent and then also don't forget what happened to the nucleus neutron and they're giving off another two lost neutron begin total of additional two neutron so Jack one neutron, therefore you get three neutron out plus of course energy, not to mention. These are the energy is going to collide with the atom around it, surrounding atom, and then therefore it raise the uh, uh, kinetic energy, and the kinetic energy of the atom would therefore contribute to the increase of temperature. So this energy wing uh contribute to the increase of the temperature over the surrounding uh, liquid or atom. Now what happened is when this electron it doesn't stop here. When this neutron kickstart this chain reaction it hardly could be stopped. You can't actually stop it because when it brings a two, what happened is neutron is going to collide with another bigger atom. Perhaps that's not limited to only one uranium atom. There are many other uranium atoms around it, so therefore, yeah, it collides with many others bigger atom. Then it gives rise to additional three more, three more, and three for this part, and then three and another three neutron. And this is very dangerous if it's not being controlled because the amount of energy release is huge. If this chain reaction okay, if this chain reaction is not properly controlled, the huge amount of energy, this huge amount of energy will be released in a short time and therefore you have this explosion. That's why it's very dangerous. Okay? So what happened was energy this kind of energy energy which I've actually uh, calculated for you show you how to calculate it 
is actually the binding energy. It's a binding energy for the proton and neutron in the nucleus. When it's being released and controlled, so this huge amount of energy will be released in a very short amount of time, and therefore you have a you have an explosion. So one way to control it, in order to make use of this energy, what happened? You know, to harvest this energy, okay, from uranium. What happened? Scientists make some few breakthrough. So one way they control the amount of neutron. So once, if you need more energy, then you let it to happen. But when there are time in a day that the countries needs less energy, what happened? They need to reduce the amount of neutron. One way to do it is they introduce a boron rod. They submersive the boron. They submerge the boron rod into the chamber of reaction, and therefore it will absorb the neutron. Okay, or in some cases the rod is made of ore. They use cadmium. Boron and cadmium, they are those very hazardous, very dangerous material, at least to the human. Okay, then besides they besides they uh, cancel off and absorb the amount of neutron, they will want to slow down the movement. So I would say this one, the first one, this is to absorb. or reduce the amount or reduce the amount of neutron okay. then to slow it down so that you wouldn't get a sudden release of energy to slow it down scientists also made some breakthrough they actually use graphite They use a uh, graphite core as a moderator. So what happened? It's like to induce a resistance to it, meaning that to actually slow it down, to slow it down. Or in some cases, it's actually the water. Also water. Okay, in some uh, nuclear plant, the moderator is actually the uh, water. Serve as a moderator to slow it down. Okay, this is one of those uh, possible objective question that will come out in SPM. If it doesn't know, this is a factual. If it doesn't know, then it's too bad. You can't get it. So if you know it now, then good for you, right? So this is basically all about it for fission. Let me emphasize it: nuclear fission. So they separate, separate to a smaller equal um, nuclei. You may go through my previous video on how to calculate the energy amount of energy. You'll find that uh, from a previous video, energy released by one atom could reach easily to somewhere about two hundred mega electron volt. Can you imagine that? How much energy are there? 200 mega electron volt. Only single atom, only one atom. So that's the reason to why you can't actually compare this with fossil fuel or any other uh, chemical reaction. So even if you have a chemical reaction, can't get this amount of energy and that's the reason to why there are so many uh, nuclear reactors being built up around the world okay. uh, of course there are some advantages of over it you may go through uh, animation I mean by others video other YouTube video by other people they made a very good animation on how the nuclear reactor actually function 
So this amount of energy is being used to actually heat up the water, pass by the chamber, and then this water will eventually create a steam, and then the steam will be used to turn turbine, and the turbine will, will be used to generate alternate current AC power. And then the, the uh, heat, I mean the steam, would eventually uh, convert back to water and then recycle back into the chamber to be heated up by this energy. So you may actually go through the animation by made by others YouTuber or you may go through your textbook for how does it work. Okay, So that's for nuclear fission. Then coming up next, that is not so uh, being popular use and it has been long in uh, actually comes out in uh, SPM. Maybe you should take a look at it. Call the nuclear fusion. F U S I O N. U fusion. Now in fusion reactor, or perhaps you call nuclear fusion happen when you have two very small, well, uh, a two or more small light nuclei come together. So normally they use hydrogen. Okay, one, two, and two, three. What happened? This is the ordinary neutron and proton, the normal hydrogen that you see from the periodic table. Two, one, okay, two, one. This is actually nuclei. And then what happened, raise your isotope, it's actually uh, one proton and an extra okay so this is I hope you know what you call this radio isotope okay they have the same proton number but different neutron number so what they did was they combined the two what happened when you have two one hydrogen you combine with three one this is actually uh, tritium. When two small nuclei come together, you form a heavier, and therefore you form a heavier nuclei. I'm going to a different color. Where over here you have one, two, three, four. Actually, four, two. This is what I intend to draw. Look at it. Scientists define this as 42 helium. Plus, because you have two neutron, you have one, two, three. What happened? You need to have another neutron being released in the process. Okay, um, maybe one and zero represents by graphically, graphically represents it by perhaps my green is my neutron. So this is one of the lost neutron. Okay, so this is what would happen for nuclear fusion. Two small nuclei come together and form a bigger nucleus or heavier nucleus with a nuclei, but of course with energy. Now, one challenge is what happened when you try to bring near two hydrogen proton and proton they are going to have this electrical repulsion it's very very hard to overcome it we have I think we have come across with it this is a Coulomb's law electrical repulsion electrical repulsion is the word to use that's why it's very difficult to uh, happen. So in order to really make it happen, you need to actually uh, heat it up. You need to heat it up so that they will actually collide and heat it up to power 8 Kelvin or even more. So this is something very hard to achieve unless you have the right equipment and you have the very sophisticated laboratory. This is what you see, you see it from the sun. 
we get our energy from the sun and the sun actually goes through fusion you and you perhaps you want to do it that way or actually you get it from hydrogen bomb enormous energy okay so that's basically that you need to know okay and uh, you should be able to differentiate fission with fusion we normally make use of fission we get energy from there okay then uh, what you need to do is uh, the remaining part would be the uh, management how do you manage it and uh, the uh, negative effect of radioactive substance so you need to do some uh, reading of your textbook normally it comes out in an essay question the effect of radioactive element okay perhaps the negative effect Then also the uh, precaution, precaution, precaution steps to handling in handling harmful effect. Also, it's something that worth looking at. Okay, what are the harmful effect? Of radiation on human, on human, of course. This is where uh, you need to categorize it into two. One is somatic, the somatic effect, and genetic effect. Okay, between the somatic. Somatic is uh, to do with physical changes. With uh, you get dark, you lost hair, you warm it. Okay, leukemia, etc. This is somatic effect, and the other is uh, genetic. In terms of in, in, the, in the level of the gene, genetic effect, okay. damage to reproductive cells, for example, you get a, what, a Down syndrome, for example, yeah, it's a genetic effect. Okay, so you need to emphasize in the two so that uh, when it comes to an essay question, then you will be able, you have all the uh, keywords with you, and then you will be able to write up in your essay question. Then uh, not to mention with uh, management. Waste management, okay. What are the main uh, waste management, and uh, of course the nuclear energy as alternative source of energy. I mean, what are the benefits behind it? So, uh, I hope you can really read through it because there's not much for me to go on through. The key to have a safe nuclear energy is a better management okay it came out once right the precautionary steps in 2008 maybe you want to go through one of those AC question um, that's all from me if you start watching my video kindly subscribe to my channel so that you get more updates of what are the new video published by me and I appreciate the thumbs up for the video I've made Stay tuned to my next video.